Jax does Homestuck, Gaystuck Edition. This time we are going over characters and we're going over Rose today. Now Rose, I don't have as much content for, I don't have as much to talk about as I did for Dave or John. And that's just because Rose is, it's pretty straightforward. We don't actually, we don't get to see her struggling with her identity or, or whether she accepts it or not or anything like that. We just, like, we don't know. Like, maybe at the very start she knew she liked girls, so it wasn't a surprise when she started liking Kanaya. Maybe later on is when she realized it, and that's why she was over-preparing for the date. You know, whatever the reason, we we don't we don't know. Uh, so we can only imagine. And I, I a lot of times, uh, tend to prefer imagining Rose just already knew she liked girls. I'm not sure it's ever uh, clarified, like, word of God or whatever, but Rose just seems like a lesbian who just always knew that she was a lesbian. And that's kind of what I stick with. But we get to see, um, outside of the relationship with Kanaya, which everyone knows about, everyone loves, it ends in a big gay wedding, which is fantastic. Um, but outside of that, we also see her attracted to some other girls as well. We see her attracted to Mina whenever they're in that dream world and she has the gayest look on her face, like, ever. And, and yeah, we get to see her, like, complimenting Mina, like, ooh, I like your braids, and just, just staring her down. And we get to see her slip up and call Jane, uh, John's hot mom, and then do it on purpose when she is now, uh, Jasper Sprite, which Jasper Sprite um, sorry, uh, Rose Jasper Sprite fulfilling the gay agenda immediately, like almost immediately goes and basically makes a potential girlfriend, like brings Nepeta back to life, like specifically to date her, which it kind of sucks because Rose Jasper Sprite realizes that, you know, now that she's a sprite like there's a real rose or you know a, a rose that gets to be with Kanaya and she had to watch Kanaya die she had to watch Kanaya die and not be able to tell her that she loved her and now she's able to see a living Kanaya but there is a living rose that, that Kanaya gets to be with and yeah so it's very sad so I definitely understand like immediately being like well, especially now that that she's a cat and um, doesn't have the same sort of uh, impulse control as Rose does, then just immediately being like, yeah, let me make myself a cat girlfriend. So, which she's, she gets kind of pushy about it, but she does keep checking in to make sure that um, Nepeta is okay with it being a date. So I definitely appreciate that, even though, again, she's a little bit like, yeah, so this date, it's okay if it's a date, right? Yeah, so this date, it's just very cute, and I definitely appreciate that. And I just appreciate there being, like, other cases of Rose definitely being attracted to girls, so we can't just, so people can't just say that, oh, it's just a one-off that she likes Kanaya. That's not, you know, how she is overall. It's just the one girl that she likes. No, she finds other girls attractive, too. And yeah, um, unfortunately I don't have a lot more to say on the matter. I really like Rose. I like talking about Rose. I love Rose and Kanaya. It's just hard for me to engage with because Rose and Kanaya did so much that I wanted from media, you know? It's like, I got everything I wanted. Can I ask for anything else? Is there anything else I can ask for? And I know there are plenty of people out there who do talk about it more and write some great fix and everything like that but um for me I'm kind of in that stunned state I'm like okay well I shipped them and then they got together that's canon and then they got married and now they're raising like a bunch of little troll babies together I mean I'm not so into the raising troll babies part because I really love Rose and Kanaya a lot in the fact that I relate to them except for when it comes to the whole motherhood aspect which I realize is a big part uh, especially Kanaya's character, but anyway, so I, I really love both Rose and Kanaya. I, I relate to them both a lot. Kanaya is usually my icon for a lot of things, but I just, 
yeah, I, I just really wish I had more to say about them. But unfortunately, when it comes to them, like, everything I could have wanted is fulfilled. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, it's not the perfect relationship. Rose gets insecure and uh, gets drunk before their date. And then Kanaya doesn't realize it's a date. And, yeah, like I said, it's not perfect. But it just, it had everything I wanted. They, I just really, that's why I have a hard time writing any fic for them. Just because it's like, well... I got most everything I wanted in canon. It's there. We got a canon kiss and everything. Much, you know, obviously we got the canon kiss. We got the wedding. But you know what I mean. You know, before the wedding came about, we got that kiss. And that was fantastic for me. Let me tell you what. So yeah, so sorry. I don't have a lot more to say. I know other people probably talk about Rose better and say more things about how gay she is. And, you know, can expand on the topic a little more. But this is this is what I have to say, and this is why this is going to be kind of um, an in-between episode. So I'm going to be posting more episodes a week, probably just two. So Wednesday and Saturday is what I'm thinking, since I am making a lot shorter episodes. And we'll get into um, the next thing I have planned pretty quickly. I've already started preparing for it, so this has given me some time to do that. And yeah, so thank you for listening. Please check out my website. It's jacksdoeshomestuck.com, so the title of the podcast.com. And yeah, it's got links to my Discord. Please join my Discord and talk to me. I post a lot of updates on there, and I ask some questions to get some uh, input on things. And just, um, you know, we could use some more people on there to, to chat with, and I, I'm, I'm pretty active on Discord. And check out my, my Twitter, SA Dragon Tweets, which also there's a link for that on my website. And um, yeah, uh, check it all out. Hit me up if you have things that you wish I talked about or things you want me to talk about in the future or just, just really anything. Just uh, let me know what's going on. And um, thank you for listening again. And please like, subscribe, and share. And... Yeah, I'll see you, um, well, depending on when I post this, I'll see you the next time I post in like three days.